We've had an upstate New York 2.8 magnitude earthquake today, and it struck after a 2.1 magnitude upstate New York in the same area a few days ago. I didn't make a video on that because it was too small. It was only reported by the Canadian earthquake maps and not on USGS. So uh, I said, well, you know, okay, I won't do it. But now we have to make sure that we keep alert because look at this. You see that area around the uh, St. Lawrence Seaway between upstate New York and Montreal? And that red area on the East Coast is all magma. That's the New Madrid seismic zone right there. And of course, the Great Lakes have a U-shaped horseshoe thing, which is all magma under there. And they don't know where that's coming from. But uh, we do have uh, what looks like a swarm. I don't know. I, I, would you call it a swarm? I have no idea. Uh, the thing is that the earthquakes on this side, on the east side of the Rockies, are felt 10 times more than they are in the west because of the fact that the soil is so much softer there. As I told you before, both my parents were architects. We used to live in Montreal. And the soil was so soft there that they had to build as many basements under surface as they had above. If you had five floors of the building, you had to have five sub-basements. So that's why a lot of neighborhoods in Montreal have subways at every neighborhood because it's so soft you make, you make the, uh, you have to build the uh, uh, basements anyway. Look at that horseshoe shape above the Great Lakes. That is the Queenan Fault and that is all magma there. And that black line is a New Madrid seismic zone, which is a crack. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So here we are at Earthquakes Canada and this is the, the 2.1 in upstate New York right there you can see that that took place on the 12th of the month okay that's about two kilometers depth and that's it upstate new york and uh, you can see that we have a lot of activity up there around ottawa and montreal right there okay and let's go to our size of berkeley the 2.8 messina upstate new york okay again it's uh, that's a 5.5 very shallow and let's go to our uh, 173 people reported feeling it, and that's it right there, Adiranda, above the Adirondacks, which are beautiful my, uh, mountains. Uh, we've vacationed there many times. Okay, topographic, that's Montreal right there. So it's about 100 miles from Montreal, Cornwall. Okay, and uh, of course we don't have historic seismicity. That, that's not that much there. But we have known, we were told that, um, let's go here, uh, the area of Quebec right around here, this, this is basically to be viewed as a um, super volcano area. Uh, but not many people talk about that. Okay, these are the Great Lakes. And uh, this is where we have our crack. Okay, this is our crack right here right there that's the New Madrid seismic zone but it should be called New Madrid rift zone because it's rifting and um, the map that we saw before has the uh, magma under there that's St. Lawrence River Lake e Ontario Lake Erie and that's the Mississippi River as you can see right there okay the Great Lakes have their own magma underneath that was there from about 990 million years about a mil billion years ago but they don't know where the origin of that magma is because it's so old. And of course, these are the underwater seamounts heading towards Maine and Montreal and uh, Ottawa. Maine has five volcanoes, as we all know, four of them in a hundred mile uh, radius from each other. And uh, these are all uh, underwater volcanoes with 30 the seamounts under there on the East Coast. So all of you there, please be very careful. Um, that's the map of it, and uh, 
if you want to read about oh sorry about that I went out too far um, oh they don't have the summary of it okay they don't have the summary but usually they tell us that it's about uh, you can feel the earthquakes ten times as much as you would feel on the west coast oh here it is they've got it up now Adirondacks region of upstate New York is one of the more seismic active parts of Northwest the three largest known earthquakes caused about 20 million damage back in 1944 in this area of Messina that's where we have this earthquake 2.8 that magnitude was 5.8 um, causing damage to the sparsely settled part of South Adirondack Mountains in 1983 magnitude 4.9 damaging the area of Plattsburgh New York 2002 magnitude 5 Moderately damaged earthquakes strike somewhere in the region every few decades. Smaller earthquakes are felt about once every three or four years. Okay, the faults. Earthquakes everywhere occur on faults within bedrock, usually miles deep, but most of the Adirondacks region bedrock was formed as several generations of mountains rose and we were eroded again down over the last billion or so years. So, well-studied plate boundaries like San Andreas in California Scientists can determine names of specific faults, but this does not take place in the Andorada, the uh, eastern region, because uh, it's laced with known faults, but numerous smaller, deeply buried faults remain undetected. Even the known faults are poorly located at earthquake depths. Accordingly, few Adirondack earthquakes can be linked to named faults. So it's difficult to determine if a known fault is still active and can slip and cause an earthquake. And as in most other areas east of Rockies, the best guide to earthquake hazards in the Andorotic region is the earthquakes themselves. So uh, that's the news there. We had one that was reported by um, three days ago. Okay, that's not the new one. That's the old one from July 12th. And this one is today's. The blues are today's, the red are the, the past hour, and the yellow are previous days okay so uh, this all of you there please be very careful we also had a 2.8 in uh, Virginia 20 mile 20 kilometers depth how many people felt that let's see 38 people reported feeling that again that's in the area of the New Madrid seismic zone all of you there please be very careful please leave your comments and thank you for your support